All right, guys, uh, this lesson is called Completing the Square. This is right before the quadratic formula that you guys have all heard of, you guys. So um, let's solve these guys real quick. X squared equals 25, X minus 5 squared equals 25, and X plus 6 squared equals 20. I have a couple more here. Okay, when you see X squared equals 25, you guys are good with that, right? X equals plus or minus 5. Okay, here I'm going to do the same thing, except it's going to be X minus 5 equals plus or minus 5. Okay? And then, so I'm going to go ahead and add this 5 to both sides, so it's 5 plus or minus 5, so 5 plus 5, or 5 minus 5, and you get 10 or 0. Okay, and what I did is I square rooted, so this one's going to be x minus 6 equals plus or minus the square root of 20. Square root of 20 is 2 root 5, so add 6 to both sides, x equals 6 plus or minus 2 root 5. All right, this one right here, okay, this is a nice, perfect square trinomial. This factors to, this left side factors to x plus 9 squared. Okay, and then I can just, this looks just like numbers uh, 2 and 3, so I can um, square root both sides and get uh, x plus 9 equals plus or minus uh, 7, so neg I'm sorry, negative 9, I'm sorry, x plus 9 equals that, so subtract 9 from both sides, so x equals negative 9 plus or minus 7, so negative 9 plus 7, negative 9 minus 7, you get negative 2 and negative 16. Okay, here, another perfect square trinomial is x minus 11 squared over there and then you square root 24 which is 2 root 6 and add 11 to both sides x equals plus or minus 2 root 6. I know I'm going fast you guys but you guys can pause this and otherwise these videos take too long you guys so I don't I just don't want it to be too long you guys pause it wherever you need to on this okay and uh, it's a, it, but we're doing algebra 1 stuff right here okay so steps to completing the square for ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 okay so uh, subtract C from both sides and put it on the other side right there. That's what number one is. And if A is not one, then divide everything by A, everything, all the way through the equation. And then you take half of B, or sometimes you take uh, half of B over A, because sometimes uh, this is not one, so you divided it by A, so this becomes B over A. And so half of B over A would be B over 2A. Anyways, take half the middle guy right there, you square that, and then add that to both sides. I have examples, don't worry. Then you just factor and solve, just like we did uh, in section A. All right, so solve by completing the square. Okay, here's number one, and I just uh, here's the steps that I just uh, uh, had down for us right there. Okay, so first, the uh, first thing I'm going to do is add out this 14 right here. So I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides. Second thing, if, if A is not 1, then divide everything by A. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get uh, uh, that. Okay, now I'm going to take half of this guy right there. Half of 6 is 3, and then square that. So it's going to be 3 squared, and then add that to both sides. So 3 squared is 9, so I'm going to add 9 to both sides. Okay, and then now this is a perfect square trinomial. All right, this becomes x plus 3 quantity squared. Over here I have 2. Negative 7 plus 9 is 2. All right, you guys know what to do now. Square root both sides, plus or minus, and subtract a 3. x equals negative 3 plus or minus root 2. Completing the square actually goes fast for some problems, you guys. Okay, on this one, okay, C's already added out, so there's C right there, so I don't need to add it out. Now I got to divide everything by five because uh, A is five. Okay, so there's everything divided by five. Half of two is one. One squared is one, so I'm going to add one to both sides. All right, so there I did. I added one to both sides, so then factor the left, and then uh, so now I, at 31 plus one is 32. Square root both sides. Square root of 32. Remember, 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 5 of them. So you get uh, 4 root 2, so uh, subtract 1 on both sides. Uh, Q equals negative 1 plus or minus 4 root 2. All right, so find the value of C, <clears throat> excuse me, that makes the expression a perfect square trinomial, and then write that expression as the square of a binomial. Okay, so here, what's half of 12 squared? 6 squared is uh, 36, so C equals 36. So then, so that's part of it. So that's when it says uh, find C. C is 36, and then write it as a binomial squared. So there it is, x plus 6 squared. So when this becomes 36 right here, then it's going to be x. It's always that sign right there. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, half of uh, 26 is 13. 13 squared is 169, so it becomes x minus 3, 13 quantity squared. Okay, let's do an odd uh, number in there. Half of 13 is 13 halves. 13 halves squared is uh, 169 over 4. I square 13, I square 2. All right, so then this be the binomial becomes x minus 13 halves squared. All right, if you're in my Algebra 2 class, that would be your homework right there, okay?